President-elect says it's 1,100 jobs. What is the latest, though, that you're hearing in terms of the jobs saved at your plant? Yeah, uh, you know, Mr. Uh, President-elect Trump came in and said it was 1,100 jobs. Um, we find out, sat with a company uh, day before yesterday, and we find out it's actually only 750 actually union production jobs that will be staying. Um, so Trump kind of added in the uh, 400 uh, R&D and engineering jobs that were already slated to stay. So uh, we were kind of dis disappointed that we're losing 550 actual union jobs. You, you shook his hand, and before we even came on, you said that was pretty cool. You got to shake the president-elect's hand. But right. disappointing, though, that the numbers are off. Right. Uh, the union president said that the president-elect lied his ass off, is how he, per how, is how he put it, about right. how this deal is looking for the workers. Right. Do you feel lied to? Well, in a way, we do. I mean, we do. I mean, we feel like, you know, we thought you're going to save all the jobs. I mean, we've got 1,400 people at this facility, uh, union, you know, factory, regular jobs, and we, you know, he didn't say anything about the 400 that were already going to stay. So, uh, you know, it, it kind of seems like it was a, you know, a dog and pony show, and um, uh, we were happy that, no doubt, that some jobs are saved, but we're, we're disappointed that we're still losing a lot of workers. I think what is most important here is to hear your voice. We heard from the president-elect a lot. A lot through the right. campaign talking about Carrier and the vice president-elect. Um, but it seems to me, as you sit here now, you seem to ha be a little conflicted about the deal, right. uh, conflicted about how it all went down. H how are you feeling? Uh, a lot of confusion. Um, you know, we were also confused when he was talking about, you know, I wasn't really, when I was talking about saving Carrier jobs, I wasn't talking about this facility. I was just talking about Carrier as, as a whole in the country. So we were like, yeah, but you use Carrier, you know, as your platform for you jobs. You really thought he meant Carrier. Yeah, we literally thought you meant us. And, and then that's why, you know, a lot of us and myself and other leaders in the union, we, we, we called Trump out on it and said, you know, if you're going to run on this, use these workers as your platform. We're going to hold you accountable to it. And, and that's what we did.